Okay, Smokin' Joe. I, I watched your video, and and really love, love, love ya. I'm really loving your intro, by the way, because it is so, so you, and perfectly. And it's more that you have the ability to laugh at yourself, and you do know your shit, you know? So it's like you are great. So, you know, look how great you are. But you do it in a humorous way, and I really, really love that. I love watching your channel. It is informative. Um, but <laughs> as you go at this guy when he says he's God, and you're trying to tell him, check himself. Maybe check yourself a little bit, too. And I had to stop the tape as soon as you start saying here give the elites more power and take this silver <laughs> you know like you gotta use a little bit of common sense that history has always proven that silver is worth something kind of look at history and how history has sort of helped us right now the dollar's worth shit and they're trying to get you to value something kind of understand what the philosopher's stone is all about you know they have a stone that they can turn into gold well it's not turning the the rock into gold it's turning your perception to believe that rock is gold you know right now that's what the elites are doing they're trying to make you see that that gold is actually worth something it ain't it's just a, a metal you know you, you can get any rock and put whatever value you want on it you know, like, but we tend to put gold and silver. Why? Because it's the philosopher's stone. And who's the philosopher? The guy who owns all the silver, or the majority of the silver, which is who? The elites. Who can afford to own the bulk of the silver? The elites. So who the hell do you think is going to control the flow of that silver? The elites. By you giving value to something they want you to give value to, you give them power dead dead wrong on the silver bit and uh, you know on top of it you are playing the same bullshit game as you're trying to warn everybody about so maybe check yourself there because who the hell can afford silver you know would it be the wealthy people that can afford silver do you have more money than me that you can afford silver so you're going to be the, the master and I'll be the slave I'll do whatever I have to to get food so and if I have to be your slave to get food just to get that silver you get me doing work for you you know it's not about purchasing you know it's about look at the two-way flow of money somebody owns it and somebody needs to get it and the ones that are owning it now put yourself in the position of the elite because if you own silver who are you going to manipulate you know like you're going to manipulate somebody to give you something for that silver. You may be thinking you're buying food, but what the hell does somebody have to do to get that food? You know, be your slave. You know, it's like, it, it's no different than you walking into your restaurant with your nice little throne that you sit yourself down at the chair and say, serve me, I have silver. You know, and somebody's going to, you know, work their fucking ass off to get you a meal that you're not really probably going to appreciate and see where, it, you know, the work and the labor came from. You're just going to say, hey, I had silver. I can eat today. You know, where, you know, the guy that's doing all the labor. <laughs> first of all, you're doing the shit. Anyways, okay, there's one that you need to check yourself with. Um, the second one is you're talking about the shields are down and you're focused on the sun and I've tried sharing information that you know clearly we are a mentality that can't receive information we're looking for answers but we can't receive those answers when it shows up we just keep getting lost down the path of no return thinking we're gonna find an answer down there and uh, probably because you just can't comprehend the answer yet so it doesn't make too much sense so that's why you kind of like okay I'm full of shit um, but food for thought on um, karma kind of see that as a real thing and what's attracting the Sun to do what the hell it's doing something's making that Sun do something where's the epicenter of our reality you know where do things generally start you know do things happen to you 
or do you put something out in the world that causes an effect for you to feel it? You know, how you perceive your world is going to be how you create it. And it's coming from you. It ain't coming from out there. It's coming from you. And so that puts you in a power position. But you also have to, you know, you are the epicenter of the whole event. You are the one that's the cause, you know. And you cause something, us as humanity, we are all doing something, that's causing that sun to have an effect. And, yeah, we haven't really been all that responsible and accountable that the shields are down. And why are those shields down in the first place? And what made those shields in the first place is something, you know, I'd kind of be interested in. But, you know, then it's going to throw all this, you know, what we put out into the world is going to come back at us. And we never ever look at it from that perspective. That's where you're going to get lost. When you start thinking, oh, shit just happened. Um, then you'll never ever see the answer. But when you can start looking at, hey, what did I do to cause this? You know, and when you can be self-responsible and accountable, that's when you start seeing some answers. Um, and, you know, let's talk about responsible and we need to be told. I think you hit on that one a little bit. I personally think and I've seen you have this conversation. It was so offensive, I had to leave the room. But you were in a conversation where, you know, you got stopped for drinking and driving. You were drinking, you weren't impaired, and you feel that if a police officer stops you for drinking, that's pre-crime. They're stopping you before you actually commit the crime. And you think that's wrong. Where, where is your own personal responsibility in saying, you know what, if I drink, there's a good chance I sh you know, there could be an accident and I shouldn't drive. I mean, do you need somebody to tell you what to do or can you come up with the idea yourself that drinking and driving is not necessarily a good thing? And because so many people think, no, I think it is a good thing, I can do it, I'm sober, well that causes a lot of accidents which causes everything to cause and effect, which causes you know, us to have a government, that causes the government to create a police force, that causes a police force to enforce laws you know, that you're going to bitch about. Because you can't do it on your own. And that's our problem. And then we come to this guy that thinks he's God. Okay, well, that's sort of true and sort of false. We're all God. So if you're going to ask the universe some answers and you kind of get this little answer that, hey, you're God, yeah, you're God, but you're only a aspect of God. You're not the complete God. You know, you're just the next generation of God. Just the same thing as parents. I'm the God of my parents, of my kids. I gave birth. I gave life. Be that Joe Trainer. <laughs> Can you make life? Can you make life come out of your body? I'm more of a God in creating life. And you can see that same example. There's patterns within patterns within patterns. You know, something created all of humanity. We do have a parent of some kind, you know. And they kind of leave us alone. They don't kind of want to help us out. Um, which I don't know if that's the same, you know, that's the right game where, you know, now that I'm a parent, should I stay out of my kids' lives and let them figure it out for themselves just like my God is letting us figure it out for ourselves. One thing I know for sure is when I'm figuring things out myself, I figure things out myself. <laughs> you know, but you have to have that will, want, and desire to actually figure it out. And not think that you're hopeless and helpless. And I think that's the whole game is that you aren't hopeless and helpless. You are a god. And the only way you're going to develop your godlike abilities is by using it. And that comes to the shields are down. What the hell makes shields? Well, it's an invisible field that nobody can see, but it hasn't, you know, it, it, it does something, and it can protect us from that sun. And one little experiment that you can do is go up and um, your next friend or the next human body that you end up crossing paths with, go in and uh, touch their hands like this, and just feel the energy. Hell, I can see, I can feel my own energy. You can do it yourself, actually. But you can feel the energy force around you. What is that? How come we all have this energy force around us? And don't we have this energy force around our planet? 
And you know what? When I was torn down, broken down, you know, like my world falled apart, my whole universe fell apart, my shields were down. <laughs> and I could be so heavily influenced and so... Um, you'd have to see that, you know, if I'm in a room and somebody's happy, you know, it has an influence to make me happy. If I was, you know, angry and pissed off and ran into a room with a happy person, then I have the power to influence, give that negative energy to the happy person in the room. It depends on whose shields are stronger. <laughs> so, um, we can make another shield. And it doesn't have to be made through mechanics. Um, we think that our power comes from the external world, you know, like, oh, if we make an internet, that's how we're going to access information. When there's an information field and, you know, your search toolbar is your intuition that nobody wants to use, but you have access to all of the information, but you have to know how to use it. And a lot of us are using it the wrong way because we all, you know, like once we find out the truth and that everybody's bullshit, then that's the time that we're going to start using our intuition and start thinking for ourselves. The only problem is, is that uh, the only thing that pushed you to start using your own personal intuition, you know, your search bar to search out the information field to find out all your answers, you're a little pissed off because somebody pissed you off. You know, something really, really set you off that pushed you in the direction that said, I better start thinking for myself. So now that you know how to think for yourself, you're angry. You're pissed off. When you're angry and pissed off and you ask that universal world, guess what? Everything that comes back is going to be a lie. And you won't know it. You'll think it's true because it's coming from you. And, you know, it's God. You know, it's telling you you're God and you know it's true. But as long as you're angry, you're going to be wrong. So that's where, you know, totally against meditation. I've been saying that for a long time because I'm observing some really weird behavior with meditation. But you do need to somewhat meditate and get yourself peaceful and calm. But, you know... Going into the brain so deep with all the problems you have, thinking you're clearing your mind? No, you've still got the rules of how you perceive life with that mind. You can never escape the mind, even through meditation. The mind follows you everywhere because, you know what, the mind is consciousness. Even if you die, that thing won't die. <laughs> so no matter how far you want to escape the mind, you can't because <laughs> it, it's everything. <laughs> Anyways. We can make shields, um, but you have to know how to make the shields. And I ain't seeing anybody even open to the possibility of knowing how. But kind of look at, we've been more interested in destroying, which the end result means destruction. And we're going, you know, we've put that out into the world, and that's what's coming back. Now we have to have the mentality of rebuilding. And right now everybody's in fear, everybody's lost, everybody's confused. While you're in that state, I do not see anybody doing any building. <laughs> but when we reach the state where, you know, you're building, and, and generally if you're building something that you love and it's heaven is all that you're in a good mood you're, you have no fear you know exactly what to do I don't see anybody in that situation yet but that's where we need to go is that you know and, and it's like fake it until you make it you know like be the peace that you want to be you know stop focusing so much on the anger of these elites and all the bullshit that they're doing and start focusing on the solution that takes away their power and give up that fucking silver because you are the ma the slave master just holding up that silver. Don't be against something that you're participating in. <laughs> Do you need somebody to tell you or can you figure it out on your own? <laughs> Peace out. And I love you. <laughs>